The way that most drugs function is by binding to proteins. So by looking at the structure of proteins, we have a much better understanding of how to develop drugs that will be used to combat numerous types of human diseases. My group uses a new technology to study protein structure and we're using the structural information gained from the technology to understand protein function. What fires me up most is coming in and trying to understand uh, a very complicated problem. Many people spend years uh, trying to solve the structure of a single protein. Now we have the technology that allows us to do this much faster and to higher resolution in a way that we've never been able to do before. So the type of microscopy that we're using is called uh, electron microscopy. Electron microscopy is very similar. Uh, it's analogous to conventional light microscopy. The difference is that rather than using visible light to image the object, we're using high energy electrons. And by doing so, we can extract much higher resolution about the imaged object. These are the types of images that we obtain from an electron microscope. Uh, in this area are the protein molecules that we're imaging. It's very difficult to decipher anything, and that's because the proteins are fairly small and there's a lot of noise in the images. So, but using uh, fairly sophisticated algorithms, what we can do with these images is we can pick out the individual protein particles within this sort of sea of noise, extract them out, and create a single image that uniquely defines each individual protein particle. So this is a set of images that you know, and here we have 140 images. So what we do is we use sophisticated computer algorithms in order to process this data. When we do that, we see images that look more like this. The images that we take are inherently two-dimensional. However, the object is a three-dimensional object. And so all our effort is aimed at determining how these two-dimensional images correspond to one another. We can project the images in 3D space to start and build up a three-dimensional reconstruction. And as we add more and more images, that three-dimensional reconstruction becomes better. And the resolution of the final three-dimensional reconstruction becomes higher. The higher the resolution, the more we can interpret. This only has become possible in the last couple of years. My sort of dream would be to see this technology solve protein structures routinely, rapidly, to such that if we needed structural information in order to be able to make drugs to treat diseases, we can do that in a few weeks to a few days. This is far in the future, but maybe not that far in the future.